Good morning and welcome to this Friday's edition of the International Space Station Update Hour. You're joining us here inside of the Flight Control Room in Houston, Texas, where the Orbit 2 team is wrapping up another successful week on board the International Space Station. They're being led today by Flight Director Mike Lammers, joining him at the Capcom console there, serving as the voice connection between controllers here on the ground and the crew up in space is Christy Bertels. And that crew right now is the Expedition 31 uh, crew members from around the globe. They are comprised of three Russian cosmonauts, two NASA astronauts, and one European Space Agency astronaut. Starting on the left there, we have NASA astronaut Joe Akaba, followed by Russian cosmonaut Gennady Padalka, and then Russian cosmonaut Sergei Revin. And then on the right side, we have our three astronauts who will be returning back down to Earth in just over a week from now with the ESA astronaut Andrei Kuypers, current Expedition 31 Commander Ala Kononenko, and NASA astronaut Don Pettit. So the crew are quite busy this week with an array of different uh, experiment and maintenance activities throughout the uh, International Space Station. We'll start off with the activities that were taking place on Monday with Commander Konyanko replacing a few of the components in the Russian toilet system, doing some routine maintenance, and also working on the Russian bar experiment, which looks to uh, develop ways for detecting any potential depressurization throughout International Space Station modules. Moving on, another Russian cosmonaut, Gennady Bedalka, was working with the plasma crystal experiment, which he spent quite a few days uh, throughout this week working on, which looks to study the growth of uh, different plasma dust structures in the zero-gravity environment of space. He was also working on the Russian Constanta experiment, which looks to study space flight factors like that zero-gravity, but also the radiation environment that they're exposed to and the effects that it has on different enzymes. Our third Russian cosmonaut, Sergei Revin, was also involved in, involved in that bar experiment, but also worked on the Matryoshka experiment, named after the set of nested Russian dolls. It's a mannequin-sized device that has a number of sensors placed throughout it that is used to uh, track and uh, gather data on the radiation conditions that astronauts are exposed to during their expedition space flights. Meanwhile, NASA astronaut Joe Acaba was busy setting up the Fluid System Servicer's Fluid Control Pump Assembly inside of the Japanese Experiment Module in preparation for a coolant refill. He was also spending a good portion of his day working with principal investigators in Cleveland for the BASS experiment, which stands for the Burning and Suppression of Solids, an investigation that looks to examine the burning and extinction characteristics of a wide variety of fuel samples in microgravity. Meanwhile, European astronaut Andre Kuypers was involved in doing a few ultrasound scans for the integrated cardiovascular, which looks to study the atrophy of the heart muscle, as well as the vessel imaging research project, which studies the uh, changes in the properties of the vessel walls of blood vessels inside of the astronauts' bodies during long-duration space flights. He also took some time out of his day to do a public affairs event, speaking with uh, ESA and Euro News in Europe. And then our final crew member on Monday, Don Pettit, was working on the station's environmental health system, specifically doing a removal and replacement of the oxidizer and the total organic carbon analyzer, which looks to study the carbon content in the astronaut's drinking water. He was also packing up a few items for his return to Earth and their Soyuz TMA-03M vehicle. Moving on to Tuesday, Commander Kononenko was... He took some time out once he woke up to inspect the service module's caution and warning panel, as well as taking uh, some phot photographs and inspecting a few of the two of the windows inside the Russian segment, looking for any new cavities, scratches, or newer expanded old stains or discolorations that could affect the transparency properties. Meanwhile, Padaka was busy with his twice daily checking of the uh, vacuum pressure conditions inside of the plasma chamber of that plasma crystal experiment, which he worked on throughout the week. And our third Russian cosmonaut, Sergei Revin, completed his second session with the Russian Behavioral Assessment Typologia, which looks to study the features of operator activity of these ISS crews during long-term spaceflight phases. NASA astronaut Joe Acaba 
I was back in the Japanese experiment module working on the fluid servicer system, specifically doing some maintenance work on the fluid control pump assembly, and also gathering some hardware for his upcoming work on the antimicrobial applicator and the internal thermal control system. While he was doing that, Andre Kuypers was reviewing, reviewing some procedures, preparing for his upcoming work on the fluid physics experiment facility, which he worked on over the next two days inside of the Japanese experiment module, and also collecting a few more samples from the environmental health system on board the station. <coughs> While all that was going on, Don Pettit was doing some removal and replacement work inside the water, re water recovery system taking out the recycled filter tank assembly in Rack 2 of the WRS and replacing it with some new components, and also working on the station Cedra, or the carbon dioxide removal assembly, taking out the jumper and doing a slight modification to it. Moving on to Wednesday, Commander Konyanko was conducting a series of uh, Sokol launch and entry suit checks. These are the flight suits that uh, he, Kuypers, and Pettit will be wearing during their return to Earth on July 1st, uh, coming next weekend. The three astronauts will return to Earth after 193 days in space and 191 days on board the station. So Cunningham was doing some leak checks on their entry suits and also a few departure checks and uh, some checkout work on their departing Soyuz TMA-03M vehicle. Meanwhile, Gennady Padalka was continuing his biological research experiments on board the station, doing a Russian experiment study on veins inside of the human body, and also doing some maintenance work on the station's TVIS, or the treadmill with vibration and isolation stabilization, doing a replacement on one of the uh, wire ropes inside of the gyroscope that helps to stabilize it. He was joined in that replacement work by fellow Russian cosmonaut Sergei Revin, who in addition to that was doing some uh, cleaning of the ventilation systems throughout the Russian segment. NASA astronaut Joe Acaba was also working on some of the uh, air quality monitoring systems inside of the station, cleaning out a few of the bacteria filters, and also working with the antimicrobial applicator inside of the Japanese experiment module's thermal control system. And then also on Wednesday, Andre Kuypers uh, kicked off his work on the Fluid Physics Experiment Facility, which is a uh, Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency rack that looks to investigate different fluid physics phenomena and microgravity. While all that was going on, Don Pettit was working with the Amin Swing Bed Hardware Assembly, installing that in one of the express racks on board the station. The Amin Swing Bed is a technology demonstration that's hoping to determine if a smaller, more efficient vacuum regenerated system which is typically only used on uh, short duration space flights like the uh, space shuttle was before, uh, would be feasible in something as large as the International Space Station environment, uh, where things like recycling water vapor, which an aiming swing bed actually takes out of the air, are uh, much more important. Moving on to Thursday, Commander Konyanko was spending much of his day doing some electrical power tests throughout the Russian segment service module, also known as Zvezda. And while he was doing that, Gennady Padalka was back at a few experiments working with the Sonocard system, which looks to uh, acquire physiological data during the astronaut sleep periods uh, using a contactless system. He was also uh, at work on the Typologia Russian experiment that Sergei Revin worked on earlier in the week, which looks to uh, study how these astronauts adapt in their transition to weightlessness and any effects that it has on their control skills. And speaking of Sergei Revin on Thursday, he was working with the Russian relaxation experiment, which looks to determine the effects of uh, propulsion system exhaust on the Earth's upper atmosphere and also on the uh, station's environment and their optically sensitive surfaces, such as windows, equipment lenses, and the solar array panels. He was also working with the Cascade investigation, which looks to do some cell cultivation of different microorganisms, and also cells from animals and humans, all in that microgravity environment. Meanwhile, Joe Acaba was removing a few insulation blankets from that antimicrobial applicator that he had been working on inside the Japanese experiment module to allow the temperatures to equalize with the station environment, and also doing some work inside the GEM or the Japanese experiment module on the thermal control system, taking a look at the fluid servicer system. 
Meanwhile, Andre Guypers was continuing his work on the fluid physics experiment setup, working on the Maragonian side payload that they're installing. That payload looks to study the thermocapillary convection, also known as Maragoni convection, in the microgravity environment of space. And our final astronaut on a Thursday was Don Pettit, who was also in the gym working on some of the portable computer systems, doing some battery changes, and uh, he was spending some time taking a few ultrasounds, again, for the integrated cardiovascular test and also for the vessel imaging research. And all of that brings us to today, Friday, the end of the week. Commander Kononenko and his two Russian cosmonauts participated in a public affairs event earlier today, and he will be doing some Soyuz descent training and departure preps. Again, he was scheduled to depart alongside Andre Kuypers and Don Pettit coming up on July 1st. Gennady Padalka will be continuing his work with the plasma crystal that he's experiment that he's been uh, giving some attention to throughout the week and then correcting a few items that they found when they were replacing that wire in the gyroscope on board the treadmill. And he'll be replacing a loose stabilizer and a few bolts and misaligned ropes. Meanwhile, the third Russian cosmonaut, Sergei Revin, is back with the Cascade experiment, again looking at the investigation of cell cultivation of microorganisms, animals, and humans in microgravity, and then assisting Gennady Padalka in reinstalling that treadmill. NASA astronaut Joe Kaba is going to be getting some proficiency training for the crew medical officer position and also inspecting the uh, Destiny Laboratory's utility output panel, looking at a few cables and inspecting the unit for any damage as uh, the astronauts on board and controllers here on the ground look to determine the source of a case, uh, the cause of a power circuit trip that occurred a little bit earlier today. European astronaut Andre Kuypers will be closing out his week, replacing some of the items in the waste and hygiene compartment, changing out the urine receptacle and the insert filter, and also uh, joining Kononenko in some of the training for that Soyuz descent operations coming up, and pre-backing a few items into their vehicle for return. And then our final astronaut on board the station, Don Pettit, will be doing some maintenance on the waste and hygiene compartment as well, manually filling up the flush water tank, and then he'll be spending a good portion of his day working with the SPHERES experiment. SPHERES standing for the Synchronized Position Hold, Engage, and Reorient Experimental Satellites. You can see him here inside of the gym working with those satellites. They go through a series of uh, commands, uh, docking operations, and different maneuvering operations, and look to uh, prove different algorithms and uh, different programs written down here on the ground in the microgravity environment of space.